uterine artery Doppler measures the velocity of blood flow inside the uterine artery. During this history, the blood flow is very fast, and this depends on the woman's heart contractions. The flow pattern during the diastole depends on the terminal vascular resistance, mainly the spiral artery. The spiral artery is a terminal branch of the uterine artery, and it is narrow, highly coiled, with very high resistance. This will result in a Doppler graph characterized by a sharp rise and sharp decline during the system. The flow pattern during a diastole is characterized by early diastolic notch and reduced end diastolic flow. During a normal pregnancy, cytotrophoblastic cells will migrate outside the developing placenta. It migrates into the decidua and the part of the myometrium. This is called a trophoblastic invasion, and these cytotrophoblastic cells are called extravellus cytotrophoblast because they don't share in the formation of the villi. This trophoblastic invasion will result in remodeling of the spiral arteries in which the spiral arteries become dilated, capacitance, with very low resistance. These changes will change the shape of the uterine artery doppler. I mean the notch will disappear, and the end-diastolic flow will markedly increase. During a pregnancy with abnormal placentation, like in cases of preeclampsia or fetal growth restriction, the trophoplastic invasion is inadequate. I mean, few cells will invade the decidua and will not reach the myometrium. This consequently will result in inadequate remodeling of the spiral arteries. These abnormal changes will result in an abnormal uterine artery doppler, which is characterized by the presence of early diastolic notch and reduced end diastolic flow. And now to summarize, as you see in the non-pregnant uterus, the highly convoluted high resistance spiral arteries will result in a diastolic pattern characterized by early diastolic notch and reduced end diastolic flow. But during a normal pregnancy, due to remodeling of the spiral arteries, the notch will disappear and the end diastolic flow will markedly increase. But with placental diseases like preeclampsia or FGR, you may find an abnormal uterine artery doppler, which is something in between the non gravid uterus and the healthy pregnancy. And this abnormal uterine artery doppler at 20 to 24 weeks is defined by a pulsatility index more than 95th percentile and or the presence of early diastolic notch. And now how to measure the pulsatility index? Well, during the Doppler study, when you mark the peak systolic point and the end diastolic point, the Doppler indices will be directly measured, which are the SD ratio, resistance index, and pulsatility index. On this chart for uterine artery pulsatility index, plot the PI, and any value above the 95th percentile is an abnormal value. 